Hey everybody, this is Casey Addington. A uh, few people know me as Agent 50 on Ingress. Um, that's with two F's in the middle, in, in case nobody... In, if you're looking for me somehow, you're not going to find me with F-I-F-T-Y. I put two F's in there because nobody else does. So anyway, back to the story. Here we go. Uh, we're going over um, apps today. I, I call them taboo apps you know mainly uh ingress doesn't want you playing with third-party software you know cheating and bugs and viruses and all that kind of stuff they don't want to deal with it and i don't blame them um but that doesn't mean that i'm you know not going to check everything out you know and find out why so you know i've been doing a little bit of research over the past couple of days or well i guess it's been about a day now and uh finding out you know different things um and uh, so I guess we'll get right to it. The second review of this two-part review is I'm going to be checking out this uh, app called Portal Map. This is it right here. All right. So um, very similar to the, um, the other map that we were looking at before on uh, IITC. Um, it gives you... You know your your map style. It's it's much like regular Google Maps. Um, it's got a lot of things that are really cool about it, and a lot of things that are not very cool at all. So, uh, you know, it's 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 got its own uses. We'll we'll just say that. So, um, uh, let me just go over real quick the the features. We got the map style. It's a Google Map style. Um, the other one you have the option uh, on IITC you have the option of using either the Google map style or the uh, MapQuest map style um, it had like you know this grid kind of configuration so when you zoom out it, you know so you see how this one kind of it'll give you a little bit of blur you know when you move around it'll definitely load up pretty it, it loads up pretty pretty quick um, and there's a setting for this. I don't know. Um, you might have to... Well, we'll play with it here in a second. But um, anyway, back, let me get back on track here. Okay, so... Um, here we go. We got our filters. Now, as the other one before, it had like, you know, right here in this area, it had some kind of... Uh, um, way to, to filter out what you wanted to see and what you didn't want to see, obviously. Well, this one, um, you know, you hit your filter, and it's right in the center of the screen. I like it because it's got on-off toggle instead of check boxes. Um, and that thing you have to slide up and down. Um, and this is all in one block, so you're not going to you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, possibly having a, a, a problem with you know while you're sliding and then you just you hit the wrong thing I don't know I mean that's just personal preference it's no big deal really um, so the on off select I think that's very cool uh, you know because it's like one tap I mean it's the same thing with the other ones checkbox um, now there's a way on here let me see look, look. I'm enlightened myself um, you know, not, nothing against the resistance, you know, they, they got their own agenda. I got my own agenda. Um, so that's what I got showing here is the enlightened. And there's a way here. Let me see. You know, I can't find it. It had... I must have changed a setting somewhere. But there's a way, and, and it may be that you have to be moving for it to happen, but, uh where it will manually update now here's the thing um, well actually I'll get to that later I'm not I'm not gonna get into the criticisms just yet um, because I still have a couple couple things to go but uh, it has a manual update oh see there you go import data finished so it'll import the data as it goes along and it doesn't necessarily always update the data all the way out. Let me see how far out this goes. Okay, so see up here, you know, 
up here near the lakes and stuff like that and you get out of town here a little bit well yeah so the update went out that far um, I don't know how it picks it at first I thought it was going by the grid but you know who knows but it imports a certain amount of data I guess it, it goes with what it thinks is relevant actually you know what this isn't all the data because there should be a bunch right here point of it is it's quick because when you're in the area you can go to your where you're at bam okay puts you right in the center of the screen right there so you know I slide over here oh I'm looking at this stuff and then I want to see what's going on in my area it goes right back to where you are now the thing I like about that is it doesn't zoom in and this is the only thing I found so far that doesn't zoom in like that uh, there might be a setting or something that I don't know about on the other one you know please comment let me know um, because I'd like to I'd like to get that working because that's annoying having to zoom all the way back out and refresh everything you know constantly now as you're driving along you're gonna run into blank areas like this where oh yeah I gotta hit refresh you know it'll refresh it but it'll import a, a good amount of data at once and in doing that you're not going to have to worry about um you know the constant refresh rate so um there's that uh that's the the gps thing um okay individual ported portal data okay let's take a look here um let me find one um let's see what does this say right here? Now, here we have uh, this five. You know, I'm not too sure what the half means. It's got like a little, you know, it's kind of diagonal like that. I'm not sure what that means, but it gives you the level of, of what you're looking at. So, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, here's one. Here we go. This is about to die right here. This guy, yeah, it needs to be refreshed. I don't think I have that, but, um, you know, and it, and it lets you know which ones are running out, um, which, you know, I mean, obviously that can be very helpful if you, uh, if you don't want to use a whole lot of weapons, you want to go up against, you know, somebody who's running out, um, but I believe that there's, there's a way to, to see that on the IITC as well. Um, another th feature that this has that you're not going to see on either of the two, if I can get it to go is that right there which if you're going you know sideways on a map it's annoying it's just that's just a pain I like to be able to do it just like I do with my my regular uh, you know my scanner and be able to look at stuff and be like oh yeah well you know this is this is not necessarily north but I want to look at this direction because that's the direction I'm facing fair enough all right so that covers pretty much all that I really like about it. There's one more thing, and I'm going to just show you real quick. You may have seen it right off. You may have not. Um, okay, checkboxes here. Okay, you check your levels. That's, you know, all normal stuff, right? I'm going to turn everything off, right? What's this up in the right-hand corner? Neutral. Oh, well, these are, these are neutral. What does that mean? It means they're unclaimed portals. Now, if you don't know the significance of that, then I suggest you do some reading. But it's pretty significant. Because if you can go around here and just tag all these unclaimed portals, holy moly. Look at that. Look at that. Holy cow. That's crazy. That's just nuts. So, um, and you can zoom all the way out. Oh, I want to find out how many neutral portals there are in my city. Oh look, there's neutral portals all over the place. They're just hanging out there. It's something that I think needs to be done um, with IITC for them to, to have the competitive edge. Um, although they already pretty much got the market, you know, as I found out recently. But, uh, you know, 
back to the third party app thing they don't want you using either of these so um so that's you know that's my favorite part of it i think it's sweet i think it's awesome um we'll go back to uh let, we'll go in on the criticisms now okay because there's there's quite a few there's some things that are very unhappy about this um one thing you'll notice it does not have a chat feature i don't know if that really matters to anybody i don't know if anybody uses it on iitc or you know actually i don't think there's uh, there's no chat feature on the mobile version of uh ingress intel so i guess that really doesn't matter um because you could just chat in your scanner anyway you know you want to you want to talk to your little people or whatever then you know just throw them up a message on on the regular scanner there's a million ways to talk to people so it, it really doesn't matter that much to me but you know some people like they're being able to talk so there's that um another thing this filter gives you this and this is it um that really is kind of a bummer because i like to look at fields i like to know where i can make a field can i make a field here right in this area no i don't know what's going on so you got to flip back you're gonna have to flip back between one and the other you're gonna have to go to your scanner you're gonna have to go to iitc or you're gonna have to go to intel well you know because it just doesn't show it doesn't show a link or a field so you could possibly you know not be doing yourself any good um also i'll click on this okay so you get this here um i'm looking at this uh this guy's level five portal here and uh yeah so oh i want to i want to attack that i want to know uh, more about it okay so I, I clicked on it i see it's a level five um and i click on this and I, oh what do i get i get share okay so you know you can share uh on maps and zillow and oh i guess you can share it with iitc how about that that's cool i didn't know that already um and then there's this star thing and you know it disappears and i thought it you know would automatically star it on your maps but it doesn't um so i i think that was the idea behind it um and i think it might work sometimes but i don't know i might just be you know being crazy i don't know um also okay so well hey there's my email address if you want to email me i don't know why you would but uh let's go to um, chicago let's go to chicago oh go to chicago go to chicago see that thing doesn't work so that's kind of a, a pain i don't like it i don't like putting stuff on there that you can't use that's just annoying so there's that um this does give you the coordinates uh, i don't know if that actually copied it or not anyway you can check it out if you want to now this app is on the play store as opposed to iitc which means that you know google has looked it over and said you know even if it's somebody had to accept it right even if it was a bot there was somebody who looked over this for for malware right and that, that makes me a little more comfortable makes me a little less comfortable that when i go to the website um you know it takes me to this guy's um let's see if it's on here uh there's help oh let's see what let's see what the help takes us to i'm not i'm not sure too much about this yeah this is kind of it's kind of what I'm talking about, I and mean, you know, it's okay, but the thing, when you go to this, uh, this guy's main website, um, yeah, about me, I don't know what he's talking about that, what is that, what is this guy, so yeah, he's, he's based out of China, and 
which is cool, you know, I mean, you know, Chinese, that's cool, that's, I'm cool with, I'm cool with Chinese, but at the same time, I don't know what he's talking about, and I don't know his affiliations, and the fact that I have to use my Gmail password to, uh, to access this stuff, I'm, I'm really, uh, it makes me nervous putting stuff on that's, you know, goes overseas when it, when it comes to dealing with my password. Now, I know there's, you know, there's ways to, you know, send, you know, make stuff look like it's in the States, but it's not and everything. But, you know, I mean, that's part of the, the Play Store deal. They, there's some kind of uh, uh, relief in knowing that somebody checked over it. So that is pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty cool app. Uh, as far as IITC and Portal Map, I think... After these tutorials, I'm probably going to get rid of both of them because, you know, I like playing my game and I, I just, I really don't um, feel like getting kicked off my game. So, you know, and, and you know, if there is anybody out there watching this from uh, um, Niantic, you know, please go ahead and leave a comment and like, you know, you know, maybe you could clarify and, and, and let us know, like, What's going on here? Like, are we, uh, are we going to get kicked off? Are you s actively searching for this kind of thing? Or is it like, you know, just a at your own risk kind of deal? So, you know, just, just a little bit of clarification. Anyway, um, so that's it. And I am once again, Casey Addington, Agent 50 on Ingress. And I will, you know, see you guys later.